I have been cooped up in the studio far too long the past few days. I'm ready to get outside and do some painting outdoors. If you're a beginner painter, you've been curious about painting outdoors, but you're not really sure what equipment you need, no worries. I'm fixing to fill you in on my basic planer kit right now. Hi there, I'm Artist Rob Reap and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're talking plain air painting. In other words, we're talking painting outdoors. Now, if you're a beginner, I wanna go ahead and just straight out give you a warning that I give all of my students, both in my private lessons and group lessons uh, here in South Arkansas where I do, do most of my private and, and group lessons. Um, I don't recommend you start by plain air painting if you are a, a beginner. Uh, if you have just started at oil painting or even acrylics, uh, I, do, I do recommend you start that in the studio first. Uh, and give yourself some time to really get to know the painting process before you move it outdoors. This could be different for everybody, but from my experience at least, painting indoors uh, is, is hard enough as it is for a beginner. Uh, but you can knock it up, the difficulty level up about 10 times by moving outdoors to paint. Uh, so it's just, it's not a beginner activity in my opinion. Uh, but at some point, you, if you're a landscape painter like I am for the most part, uh, I do some portraits, but if, I, most of the time I, I love to paint landscapes. And if, you, if you're a landscape painter, at some point you're probably go going to want to paint outdoors on location uh, and get, get the experience of, of not only just seeing those those more natural colors uh, with, with your own eyes uh, rather than through maybe a digital photo or something that you printed at Walgreens or Walmart. But um, at some point you're going to want to just experience that, that absolute thrill of being outside and painting uh, a subject that, that, that you yourself have, have gone out and hunted. Um, and that's, that's part of the fun of it. There is, there is a, a hunting process that you have to take. Um, and it's, it's not always, that's probably the hardest part for me is just finding the subjects to paint, uh, especially in the area in which I live. And I think I've, in past videos, I've told you guys that, that I don't have a lot of long vistas and that's what I like to paint a lot of times. So, uh, but we're, we'll, that's, that's for another discussion. Uh, maybe we can start a, uh, a discussion, um, in the comments of this video about, about your experiences plain air painting, if you've already done it, uh, before, uh, and you can, uh, you guys throw in anything that, that, that you think would be of help to people um, who are maybe watching this video that, um, that have never painted outside and, and what, what, what are the do's and don'ts in your opinion. Uh, and I'll give, you, I'll give you some of mine uh, as we go through this video. Uh, but when we start, let's just start off with, with the basic, um, basic equipment that, that one would need. Uh, to really get started with this. Now there's 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 different types of, of, of easels that you can use to paint outside. Um, there is, the first one that I ever started off with painting outdoors is called a French easel, uh, which is a, a, a relatively, you can get it relatively inexpensively at, a, at, at just about any uh, painting supply store. Uh, even Hobby Lobby carries um, um, French easels. But, um, in my experience in the past, uh, I painted with the French easel for a f about three years, and I didn't do a lot of outdoor painting with it because it was so bulky. Now, it did carry a lot of stuff, which was awesome, uh, and it actually held bigger canvases than, uh, than, than what I use now, uh, but it's just it was so cumbersome that I didn't care for it. So that is an option, though, if you would like to check it out. Uh, of course, there's standalone easels, little what are called field easels that are just... Uh, basically, just a, a tripod easel. It's it's nothing too fancy, but may, maybe a little a little heavier where you can you can weight it and 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 whatnot. I've I've never used one of those. If if you've out there and you have used one of them, leave it in the comments, please, and and let us know your experiences. But this video is only about my kit, what I use. Okay. Now I've been painting with uh, what's called a pochade box. Now people call it by slightly different names. Some people call it a pochade. I call it pochade. That's just what I do. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry about that. But um, I've got uh, a Sienna um, plein air uh, kit. 
um, which was uh, a gift to me. Um, I think I've, I've told you guys in a past video that, that actually my mother purchased uh, my my Pochade box, my Sienna kit for me. The only thing I had to buy was the tripod. So um, she was she was awesome enough to, to do that for me. And I'm sure a lot of you out there have a spouse, maybe a, a parent, if, especially if you're a younger painter like I was at the time. Um, who, who somebody will help you out for a Christmas present at some point. These things are not super, super expensive. They're not going to break your bank, um, but they're not also going to be something you want to paint in a, in a studio with very often. They, they're specifically made, a Pochard box is specifically made for painting outdoors. You know what? Enough time wasting. Let's jump into what exactly is in this kit. I'm going to show you how I carried into the field to start with. This is it. Okay, I have a, this is what I love about it too, it's a, it's a full backpack, I've got my tripod on the outside, um, which is, sits in a little pouch and then has a hook right here, just a little, um, a little clip which holds it in. This is very, very light, I actually have not weighed it, uh, so I, I can't give you a specific weight, but I can tell you it's easily hikeable. Um, just a, everything that I need to paint for the most part is contained within this bag. Uh, the one thing is missing that I usually take into the field and it's not hard to carry and that's a roll of paper towels. I usually stuff a trash bag in one of these outer pockets, uh, but I do recommend that if you if you get the Sienna Plain Air kit, this is almost a review of Sienna Plain Air, um, if you do get this particular kit, uh, of course you can buy all the pieces completely separate, I recommend you get their backpack. Okay because it's specifically made to hold everything you need that comes with, with, their, um, with, with their kit. Uh, you go out and buy a school backpack, they're, they're not going to have the separate compartments, they're not going to be built specifically for a painter. Um, I also, um, you guys obviously know just from watching YouTube, I used to have, a, I used to have a, a film career as well. So I had a lot of tripods laying around. I could have I could have used any other tripod that I had. I probably got 20 of them. But I bought the specific Sienna Plain Air tripod. And I'm going to go I'd like to go ahead and show you guys kind of the difference between um, or just point out the differences uh, that that this tripod has um, that, that that film or camera tripods do not. I apologize. My pup is scared of anything that moves, so he's going to jump out of the way here. It can be a little bit difficult to get out of its wiring um, in the field, but that's a good thing. You don't want to be hiking on a mountain and have this thing fall out. So you, it's, it's nice that it's secure. It's not going to cause you any problems. Okay, here we go. It's a basic tripod. Nothing too fancy about it. Come on up, bub. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Yeah. He's, you can see him, he's back there too. <laughs> I do do animal portraits, so if you're interested in commission, please uh, please leave me a comment or shoot me an email. Um, I, I've done, I've done a, a numbers, uh, several, several um, pet portraits in the past. But this is the Sienna Plain Air tripod, okay? It is, for the most part, a very traditional tripod other than about two features that I've noticed. The first feature is it has a ball um, joint at the top rather than uh, what would be needed rather than having a handle uh, and just a pan slider or a fluid head that a traditional um, a filmmaking camera has or, e or even uh, a, a still photograph camera. Um, this thing right here is built from the ground up for us painters. And that's, that's one of the things I truly, truly love about it. The other big advantage that it has, um, it is the, the, the legs here that, it's got a little grip on this side, but the, these two legs are built to hold uh, another piece of equipment that I've got in the bag that I'll show you in just a few minutes. Now I'm not going to put this whole thing together for you guys. I want you just to see the individual pieces. But the other cool thing that it, that it has, another really neat feature, is once once you have this thing set up, 
One of the biggest problems that we have to contend with as, as plein air painters is the wind, okay? And um, other than that, we've also got to contend with the pressure points of our own hand against a canvas. You can just imagine, you put a, can a, a, a big box up here and you, and you put a canvas in it or a, a panel, panels are what I use, and you start you know, pressing a brush up against that thing, it's gonna push it back, right? Well, they've engineered it just right for us painters. The, the fine folks at Sierra Plain Air have fixed this for us. Underneath, on the center column, they have put a little spring-loaded hook that just releases, and it's just perfect to take your backpack, which will still have some items in it while you're painting, and you hang your backpack on this, and it keeps the tripod weighted down. It's a really nice feature. I really love that about it. So, that's the tripod. Okay, next thing I wanna do is just tell you guys real quick about what I use to paint with. Uh, this is actually a Frederick brand, but I use, uh, if we're oil painters, remember, we wanna use oil prime. I prefer linen, so this is, a, this is an, um, uh, an uh, oil primed linen canvas panel. I will sometimes use um, just panels that uh, masonite, something like that, that doesn't have uh, linen on top of it. But I really like the linen texture, and you can get it in smooth portrait formats as well. Uh, so it's, this isn't a big deal. I've already got this one pre-toned. That's why it's different. Uh, but this is what I use. It's just a just a uh, a linen oil primed linen canvas panel. That's an eight by ten, by the way, which I'll talk about here in the next few moments. <clears throat> The only thing that I have that is not part of the Sienna Plain Air kit um, is my um, my little thinner jar. Now, I I honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, where I bought this, um, I bought this from um, from Hobby Lobby, and I don't think they're much different anywhere you buy them from. Uh, it's just a little jar that's got a little scraper in the bottom, and I fill this up with my Gamsol and I, I go go to town painting. Um, all right, so let's take the backpack and let's unzip it and go through piece by piece everything that I've got in my kit. When I first open my bag, I wanna have the first thing I have to have to make sure I can paint. And that is the actual Pochade box, okay? This is the Sienna Plein Air Pochad box. Really beautiful piece of equipment. I uh, cannot say, I mean, this thing, I, I'm sure it's manufactured elsewhere, but it's it's got a very nice, uh, just, just craftsman-like look to it. Um, this is this is something that I want to take care of. Now, I'm going to beat it up. It's going to go out in the woods with me. It's going to, it's going to have a full life, just like I will, but um, this is a, this is a really nice piece of equipment. Uh, just a, it's got a, a little latch closure here, which is, is very secure. Um, the only problem I've had with the entire kit has been on this Pochade box, though, and I'll explain to you how this happens. Um, if you're new and you, this is, this is the medium box, by the way. They do make a large. Uh, I just happened to put the medium one by accident in my wish list, and that's what I got uh, since this was a present. So um, I, I cannot really imagine needing a large, though. This, this handles a lot of what I have to have. But they've, they've made a really nice little, uh, little special design here on top. This is a brush rack. Uh, which will actually hang on this side of the box once it's open. Now, if you'll notice, this part right here is metal, okay? On the top of the box, without opening it, there's, there's little mag two little magnets right in here. I'm going to see if you guys can see those. See those two magnets? All right, when I first got it and I pulled this off, this thing pulled the magnets out as well, which wasn't supposed to happen. It was a very, very easy fix. Uh, I took um, some super glue, dropped it in the little holes, and put the magnets back in and let it dry for a day. Now, works perfect, latches perfectly, no problem. 
Uh, and you can see what it does. If I turn this over, I'm good. Okay? But the magnets also now stay. Super glue fixes a lot of problems. So I've got this. So let's just open it up. What do you say? First thing you want to do, it's got only on one side, it's got a little uh, a little pulley system. You just loosen this up, back it up, okay? You unhook your latch and raise the box up. Now normally I, I pull it out pretty far here. Now I'm gonna retighten these little bolts. And that just gets it secure. So this is the Pochade box itself. A really nice piece of equipment and the thing that sold me on this was this, this glass palette. Uh, I use a glass palette in my, in my studio. Uh, my French easel had a wood palette with it, which is, hey, it's no problem. If you got a wood palette, you've got a wood palette. But I, I loved the idea of having a glass palette. And this fits the bill perfectly. This glass palette also does come out. You do have to use screwdrivers uh, in right here to get the little blocks out. If you can see in this thing. Okay. So you can take the glass out. However, I tend to, uh, after one or two times using it, I'll, I'll just take a, a razor blade or something or uh, an old palette knife and I'll just scrape the paint off and clean this, this without taking it out. That's not a big deal. The area where the canvases go in, really simple to use. You've got two, two knobs on the back. And just by loosening those, you can move this up, move this up, and, and get whatever setting you need. Now, I do have one other Pochade box. Now, I'm just going to just go ahead and drop it out there right now. Uh, I like this one better than the Gorilla Painter box. I know a lot of people use those. Um, the only thing I don't like about that is I have to have, I do have a Gorilla Painter box, but you have to have an adapter to even be able to use different size um, panels. It's also extremely difficult to get them in and out in my opinion. It's not with this. This is a traditional Pochade box. This thing is super easy to use. So that's the Pochade box. You've got wonderful craftsmanship uh, of it. A glass palette that is removable. Beautiful piece of equipment. There it is. This is the medium size too. Okay, get you guys a good look at that thing because it's not, it's really pretty. Okay, so we want to put it back up. It's very simple. We're just going to loosen, loosen, loosen. We'll close it. Put the latch back. Put that in and retighten. Okay, simple as that course uh, I didn't show you guys forgot to do it while it was open but this actually hangs on the side just like that and then you can just lay your brushes in it's super super nice nice to use and then when you're done you just take it realign it with the magnets drop it on and you're good to travel you could theoretically use this as a as a, as a lap easel um, you could also theoretically just carry just this and not even, or this and just the easel and not worry about a backpack or anything else. Uh, this thing is a traditional Pochade box and it is going to, to do what you need it to do. It's a great, great um, tool. I, I can't imagine anybody buying anything else. Uh, I can't imagine buying another French easel. This thing just, it blows it out of the water in my opinion. All right. So let's move on to the next piece of equipment that I have. But first, I'm about to forget. The tripod does come with, of course, a mounting plate. It's very easy to put on. It goes on right here. Simple, simple, simple thing to do. Okay. Next piece of equipment that I have is the storage box. Now, this is from the top of it. Again, we've got the Sienna logo. 
Now, I, I want you to tell it's square, but look at the top. It's kind of angled. Do you see that? See how the top kind of slopes down? That's for a good reason. When you set this thing, you're actually going to lay this within the, um, within the tripod legs and then let it just rest. It's super easy to handle. Um, and then all you have to do at that point is undo the clips on each side. Okay. And when you open it up, voila, I've got all my paints, I've got my brushes in here, I've also got a nifty little tool uh, for hanging on the outside of this so that I can actually hang um, my um, paper towel um, roll. So it's not just sitting on the, on the grass. It's, this is a very nice box, I encourage anybody else to, to pick this up as well. Um, it's, it's got a few places for brushes uh, here. I, I tend to find that I don't use that very often, but I, I usually set my, my brush washer uh, right here. Um, and, and other than that, it's, it's just made for my paints. I can handle all of my long handle brushes. They all fit just fine in here. Now I'm squeezing my paints in. That's one of the things that you have to realize when you're, when you're playing air painting is you're going to be squeezing your paints in. That's just part of it. Um, but I don't have a problem with that. Again, I'm a pretty minimalist. Uh, I use pretty minimal palette. Uh, it has a divider here, which is just nice to keep your brushes separate from most of your paints. I do have two paint tubes stuffed in here with the brushes, but no biggie. But again, I can, I can handle all of my long handle brushes in here as well. And this is made to fit in the second compartment of your uh, Sienna Plain Air pack. Really simple tool to use. Um, not much more to say about it because it's, it's, it's such a simplistic box, but uh, that's what I like about it. So let's hook it back up. One last thing to say about it though. The outside uh, holder that goes on the tripod is made adjustable so you can lower it or raise it depending on however whatever your height is. Uh, it's really easy to do. You just pull the knobs out and move it left or right. Not hard at all. Okay. The last tool is something that you may or may not want. I got it just because uh, <laughs> because I, I get most um, painting utensils that come along with the kit. It's just nice to have them. If I find out I don't like them, I can always resell them. Uh, but when I first started painting outdoors with my French easel, you got this huge box and then nowhere to put your paintings when you're done. I talked about the Gorilla Painter box earlier. It's got something on this one uh, in, in that area of being able to haul your paintings out of its location, and that's called a dry box. The Gorilla Painter box is actually a dry box built into the Pochade box. This one's not. You cannot carry your paintings in the, with, with your Pochade box once you're done with the actual painting for the day. But the fine folks at Plain Air have made a wonderful little tool that's just a wooden dry box. If you've never used one of these, I would suggest you learn how. There's there is another cheaper option though. Uh, if you wanna if you're wanting to just carry your paintings out and you don't have a long long way to go, um, and you know your road's not gonna be too terribly bumpy and you're not having to store but one painting, you can just get a little uh, a plastic tub and just lay it flat. Uh, but you have to make sure it's not gonna turn over or else you're in trouble. This thing here is made where if you put your, your painting into it, uh, it's, it's going to keep it, keep it nice and secure. Nothing's going to happen to it. It's not going to bump into anything. Uh, it's, and I'll show you how this works. So we've been out outdoors. We've been painting. Uh, we've got this absolute masterpiece. We've got an 8x10 masterpiece that we are sure is going to sell for close to six or $700. We don't want to lose that. Okay, That thing's nice. And it's worth a lot of money to us. We undo the hinges of this dry box. This one's made to carry two different sizes. An 8x10 or a 9x14, I think. Take this out, the top. Okay. You can see I've got my, this may be a 9x12. I've already got a panel in here. This is the 9x12, but it's got another little, little system in here for an 8x10. So, let's say that this painting here is already done. 
okay? I slid it in, it's, it's fine. It's not gonna mess up at all. Now, I've got another masterpiece on this 8x10. We take it, we slide it into the 8x10 slot, we take the top once again, slide it on, hook it up, and no matter what happens, these things are protected. And our, our investment in our canvases and our paints, our time is protected. That's what a dry box is for. You do have to buy them size specific. So this one again holds an 8x10 and a 9x12. Um, you can buy several different sizes from Sienna Plain Air. I forget what all they are. Uh, when I go outside, I typically paint with an 8x10 or a 9x12. Sometimes I'll use a 4x8 um, or a 5x7. Uh, I usually don't paint 4x6s, but I do have them. Uh, they're not gonna this isn't going to hold those. This will only hold 8x10s and, and 9x12s. But it is if you're traveling, uh, my wife and I, again, we do a lot of hiking. Uh, you, if you're going to hike for four or five miles, paint a scene, and then have to hike back, you're going to need this. If you don't have it, you're in trouble because um, you're not going to carry a painting through the woods or through uh, al along a mountain path without creating some problems on that painting, without scratching it against something. Uh, and, and even in a Tupperware container, plastic tub type container, you're, you're going to get yourself into problems if you don't have a dry box. So that's the plain air uh, kit in its totality. So we've got the backpack right here. We've got the tripod once again. We've got the absolutely beautiful Pochad box. Really nice piece of equipment. we got the storage box And we got the dry box. Once again, just to remind everybody, if you're a beginner and you haven't painted before at all, please, I urge you, don't start by painting outdoors. If you've been painting for a little while, though, and your curiosity has, has uh, been heightened and you're ready to go outside and try to paint some beautiful landscapes, I encourage you. Go out and try it. The one thing I will say in a positive way about painting outdoors, I've told this before in other videos, if you've been painting landscapes uh, or barns, whatever you paint, if you've been painting landscapes though for the most part, uh, indoors, in your home or in a studio, and you suddenly go outside and commit to trying to paint outside, I promise you, even though some of your paintings are going to turn out rough, and I, they will, they really will. I, I've, in the last two months, I've thrown away at least one or two panels that I just thought were, were terrible uh, because painting outside is hard. Um, but when you go outside and paint, and then you learn those new skills and you bring them back inside, I promise you, promise you you're going to be a better painter inside the studio. Plain air painting will challenge you. It will push you to be a better painter. Okay. Well, that is it. That's uh, kind of my review, I guess, my, my demonstration of the, the Sienna Plain Air uh, kit. Um, one of these days, next time I'm, I'm outside, maybe doing some plain air painting, hopefully tomorrow or sooner, um, I'll be sure and uh, just go ahead and set it up and show you guys how it works. Um, but that's, that's the most part. That's my plain air painting kit. That's what I use most of the time. Again, you got your options. Pochad box, French easel, fill, light filled easel, um, all kinds of different options out there. I like the Pochad box. That's just me. Tell me what you like in the comments. If you use something different to paint outdoors, let me know in the comments, please. And uh, thank you guys so much. 
keep painting and enjoy it. God bless for everybody here at my studio because I got some folks helping me edit this today. I thank those folks. My wife is one of them that helps me out on a lot of these. And uh, she's she's got a wonderful eye. She helped me out with lighting tonight. So uh, we got the lighting set up and um, I appreciate her. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Bye.